Everybody and welcome back to our back to basics series here on farm sim 19 today we're going to take a look at all things sugarcane a little bit of background information sugarcane was a crop added to the platinum edition of farm sim 17 and was carried over into farm sim 19 what we have in front of us is basically a collection of all of the specialty equipment needed in order to work with sugarcane i guess the most expensive and most interesting of that special equipment is this case ih sugarcane harvester we're going to take a look at that when the time is appropriate also have custom sugarcane planting equipment We've got three different sugarcane planters here we have a pull behind sugarcane harvester that basically is going to harvest one row, maybe two rows of sugarcane at a time. And then we have five different ways of transporting sugarcane once it's been harvested. These are rather interesting trailers. They don't really work like trailers. Think of them more as really big buckets. Something else related to sugarcane is that the planters... Do not take seed. They take sugarcane billets. Little sections of sugarcane. So you have to buy those in pallet format. We've got three sugarcane boxes over here. All ready to go. Before we get started, let's take a look at this stuff in the shop. Go to vehicles. Have sugarcane technology. And really we only have one sugarcane harvester. FS19 did not bring us any other harvesters thing is a beast and is 359 or 349 thousand dollars and the rest of the sugar cane equipment is going to be 100 tools we have three planters at the single row billet planter have planter also will fertilize all do fertilizing, sorry. And then we have the twin row billet planter. We have the pull behind harvester. Then we have our bucket trailers, if you will. Basically, the only difference between these is the capacity that they hold. Semi trailer version, and then we have a dolly trailer version that we can use to attach to the back of this trailer. Or just use this with trailer or with some tractors. And under objects or pallets, we have our sugar cane pallet, 2,000 liters for $280. And this is what we're going to need in order to plant sugar cane into the ground. We've got our test field all ready to. Ready to go. Cultivated. Ready. Now while this planter does connect via three point, does have rear wheels, doesn't put a whole ton of weight on the back of the tractor. I'm gonna pull up next to the pallet, hit R to fill from the pallet. This will also hold fertilizer. It's I believe it's solid fertilizer. Down. Unfold it. 
turn it on. Got a higher helper just so that we can take a look at this. And we are planting our crop. Now, something else that's rather unique about sugarcane is that uh, it is the only crop other than grass that after you harvest it, it will regrow. Oh, I should take that back. Poplar does that too. Sorry. Uh, but it only regrows three times. You plant once, harvest up to three times before you have to plant again. Interesting that it's putting down this texture over the field and it's planted. Oh, it's doing that in in 17. Let's take a look at the other planters. Got the horsepower for this one. This is a two row planter. I had to break away for a moment and I took that time and just checked, and these take solid fertilizer to follow up on that. This is the two row version of what we just saw. Load it up. Do the one row version he's already made. Pass up, back, and up again. Using that one is going to take quite a long time. to unfold, lower, and turn it on. This one is going to work at basically double the width, if not visually, if not triple the width. It's going to go through product a whole lot faster also. switch tractors so we can work on this one here. Now also, just like potatoes, we can use last year's harvest to plant sugar cane. As I said, we can harvest sugarcane three times between plantings. And we can use a previous year's sugarcane harvest to plant. So in essence, we only really need to buy sugarcane pallets first time around. This time we are planting our sugar cane. We've got really cool animations going. So we're putting these sugar cane billets into the ground. And this is actually the, this is the texture I was expecting to see. Kind of a slightly modified potato planted texture. A little, a little taken aback with this. Because this is what you typically will see 
after a harvest on the ground, not when you're planting. It just says sugarcane is growing. Over here, you're going to see it say sugarcane growing. In between, it's just nothing. Visually, they're a little different, but they're in effect the same. They're in the same growth stage here. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish planting out this whole field. Come back, and once again, like we've done with our other specialty crops, we're just going to kind of take a look at crop in the various growth stages. All right, and in this state, it is now ready to harvest. As you can see, field info screen says remove hops. So something I didn't mention, but uh, when we were planting, remember we had this weird texture going on, which is what I said you would see after the first harvest. Then it transitioned over to this, is what I was really expecting to see. And then further up the field, it transitioned back. And then a little bit further up the field, transitioned again. It was really weird. At any rate, that is our that is our crop of sugar cane now, ready to be topped. This is kind of an interesting crop to do in single player. Is you really need to hire help to do this. This is a crop that works really nice in multiplayer. You have additional people to help out. And this is a very time consuming crop. We're not going to harvest this entire field, that's for sure, because that would take. Probably literally in hours. Once we come up here, we're going to do a pipe out on our harvester. We're going to unfold our harvester. We'll turn our harvester on. Pull up to our crop. This is where we're going to stop. Okay. Now we're going to need our tractor. And any one of these will do. They're all literally the same, just different capacities. We're gonna come up. We're gonna pull alongside the harvester. You're gonna see this pipe will rotate around. And basically it is now over top of our trailer and we got a little bit of sugar cane in the trailer. So what we now need to do is we need to hire the helper on the harvester. And then we basically need to drive along side him. And now would be a perfect time to talk about cruise control. The harvester appears to be going about five or six miles an hour. So what we can do is we can adjust so we can set cruise control on. What we can do is you see below my speed, the number it says 32. 
That's this tractor's top feet. I push two button, or the one button, I'm gonna lower that down. I'm gonna push and hold that until it's down to around five. Okay. Now I can hit the three button. Turn cruise control on. And now it's gonna lock it five. Speed that up a little bit. I'm gonna hit two. Speed it up. Goal is to basically find a speed that moves along with the harvester. All you need to do is just drive along the side. Turning can be a little problematic at times. to coax him along. There you go. Now he's gonna turn around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to want to make a wide turn. I want to let him turn around. Situated. Alongside. And we'll repeat the procedure. Up and down the field many, many times. But you see, the way what the harvester is doing is it's basically... Cutting the tops off, cutting the green part off the plant, dropping that down on the ground, then harvesting the dead stalk, and then basically it's blowing the plant matter out the back of the machine. And that's what's covering the ground. And then we have these little billets they're filling the trailer. I want to walk too. We don't want to drive too close to the harvester. Kind of where multiplayer really comes in handy. Kind of coax him, turn around. While he's doing his turn, I'm going to empty this. This is what the my trailers are for that trailer basically filled up in one up and down pass of the field Would have this semi trailer parked inside the field you are harvesting. You would bring this tractor and trailer up alongside the trailer here. Use the left mouse button. Pull back, raise the trailer, left mouse button, go to the left, hit the trailer. I 
guess I'm not close enough. Yep, basically, and then you would dump this into that trailer. Left mouse button, and then to the right, we'll tip it back. Left mouse button up, lower it. Then you would just repeat the process. And you would repeat the process a lot of times. Cruise control on with the three button. Run alongside this uh, harvester. As it takes the tops off. Really can't hire the helper to pull the trailer for you. In single player, you pretty much have to have the harvester on hired helper. Do this in single player. What we're going to do is we're going to get set up to do the pull behind harvester. Demonstrate that here in a moment. We've got our pull behind harvester now. It's going to work very, very similar to the self propelled harvester, just is going to be a lot lower. Basically, going to pull a single line of sugar cane. What we want to do is we want to hit X to unfold the harvester. I'm take the uh, tongue and extend it out a little bit. You're driving beside the crop. Lower it down. Turn it on. You do a pipe out. Make sure you do the pipe out. Hire a helper. Need to bring our trailer Get up close so that then the pipe is recognized. Cruise control on. And now basically just run behind and beside the harvesting tractor to collect the crop. Where it's really important to have cruise control set up right because you can see not a lot of room here. Can't be too far off to the side because of the pipe length. Suppose we could do something like that. So it's some pretty close quarters. Now, when he turns around, he's going to be driving in the crop. Ideally, in this situation, he would go all the way to the other side of the field. He'd be driving outside the crop. Uh, we will uh, just uh, give him a little bit of a pass here, I guess. Imagine the view of that harvesting tractor isn't isn't the greatest. If you were to do that in multiplayer, and if you had crop destruction turned on, 
you'd be basically doing a whole lot of damage to your field. That guy is just basically the ins and outs of planting and harvesting. Let's talk about what do you do with this once you have it. Well, as I said, these billets can be used for the next planting of your sugarcane harvest or your sugarcane crop. But you don't need to worry about that because you don't need to plant sugarcane for another two harvests. Sugarcane is good for three harvest cycles before you have to replant. That up here. Take this and we'll go down here and we'll demonstrate because we'll dump it into these planters. Straight forward, just pull up alongside it. Left mouse up. Mouse, right, left mouse button, left. Now you see we are basically stocking our planter with our harvested sugarcane. Now we can go plant another field if we wanted to. in this trailer you have to use the mouse we don't tell it to unload like a tr tr traditional or conventional trailer kind of like buckets and from this point well we don't really have a storage option in the base game. The only option at this point would be to take this to a sell point and sell it. Which isn't exactly always ideal because we might not always have a really good price on our sugarcane. Now you can see sugarcane doesn't really bring a lot but you get a fair bit of of sugarcane as a harvest, very similar to potatoes and sugar beets. Doesn't bring a big price, you get a fair bit of it when you do harvest it. And the fact is that you only have to plant this once, you get three harvests out of it. That can also help with your cost management. If you do want to store sugarcane, once again, we have this in-ground storage building is a mod available in the mod hub We've already talked about mods a little bit so that building we have used already to store our sugar beets and our potatoes well, we can also use it for our sugar cane go ahead and demonstrate how one would do that What we need to do is we would need to transfer our sugar cane to a traditional trailer because we can't dump this trailer in that building. Do we do that? We pull alongside, and this trailer dumps just like the other ones. Left mouse button. Pick it up. Close. Probably have a trailer that doesn't have sugarcane. Hold on. No, oh, let's sit. Need to get super close. And of course, we could dump 
the other sugar cane trailer directly into this Joskins trailer if we wanted to. I didn't do that initially because I wanted to demonstrate use of these big yellow trailers. Now that we have our sugar cane, store it in here if we wanted to. Piling up there in the bottom. Read out. And then we have sugar cane. And I don't think we really need to take sugar cane to a cell point. I'm going to demonstrate that already in other videos. Yes, that is basically harvesting and storing sugarcane. Now, what I want to do is magic of television. I want to try to harvest the rest of this crop real quick. And I wanted to show you how this then regrows. See if we can't uh, accomplish that fact. Eat. All right, so as you can see, we have magically harvested our field. What we're going to do is we're just going to speed up time and see this then transition to basically first stage of growth again. All right, well, there you go. So now... We have gone from harvested to our first growth state. There, shows it is growing. And basically, we're going to be able to go through this cycle two more times. Or we need to then plant sugar cane again. Hey guys, I hope that helped explain how you work with sugar cane from plant to harvest, back to right, growing again, and you haul it around, work with it. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions related to sugarcane. And until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.